What is going on, CY? Yeah. Man, wasn't that worship just so good? So my name is Dane. If you don't know me, um, I get the honor and privilege of getting to uh, not only just work here, but serve here as well. Um, and so, yeah, if you don't know me, my name's Dane. I, I, like, to, I like to be outside. Um, I like to... Yeah, I like, to, I like to ride mountain bikes and rock climb, and so this week, uh, I had Monday off, and so I texted a bunch of my friends, and I'm like, guys, we got to do something. I have the day off. Let's go rock climb. So we all, we all coordinate, and we show up at the gym, and it's all going great, and I'm not going to lie, I felt a little confident that day, okay? And so there is our first thing that we need to just take it and then put that in the back of your brain. We're going to remember that for later. And so... Man, we're, we walk in, and, and we sit down on this first wall, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I for sure got that. And so I, I'm sitting there, and as I'm, walking up, as I'm walking up to the wall, I look over, and I notice something, probably the most dangerous thing of all. And I notice that there's girls watching. Guys, we all know where this is going. Yeah. And so I, I walk up to this wall, and, and I start, I hop on it, and man, I'm just cruising up this wall, and I get about eight, eight feet up off the ground, and I'm like, oh, this is perfect. And then I remembered that the girls were watching, and I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta send this big, okay? I gotta impress these ladies. You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> and so, man, there's something in my brain that's like, hey, bro, this is not a good idea. You don't climb like you used to probably shouldn't do this. And so, man, I, I'm like, no, 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 no. I got this. For sure I got this. And so I'm up on this wall, and I go for a really big move, and I reach up, and something happens, and my foot slips, and as my foot slips, my heart stops. And I feel myself falling backwards, and I land flat on my back. And everybody that's watching just goes silent. Now... <laughs> Uh, that is a Dane Potts move, bro. And uh, so everybody that's watching is just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe he just did that. That is so embarrassing for him. <laughs> and so what happened was is I'm, I'm up on this wall and I'm feeling confident and these girls are watching and it's all going great. But then something happened is what I, I let my confidence uh, overview like actually my, the actual amount of level of skill that I had. And so... There, as I'm like reading for this week and, and I'm learning, there's this thing called the, um, the overconfidence uh, uh, bias. And so what that actually says is that when you get so confident, your level of actually being able to accomplish a task decreases. And so I, I witnessed that firsthand uh, in this gym. And so um, I am super thankful um, and just grateful to be able to be up here and, and read from the word. And so uh, before I do, uh, I just want to pray. Um, and so if you guys will, just uh, bow your heads. Lord, thank you for um, just your faithfulness, God. Um, I thank you that your mercies are new every day. Um, and that, Lord, even, even when we aren't faithful, you are. And, and that, God, and, and as I'm up here, uh, I just pray that you would speak through me. And, and that, everything that I say would be representative of who you are. And, and if there's anything that is just a little bit off a, of your character, Lord, I pray that you would, you would make it clear and evident to everyone listening that, that that is not who you are, Lord, and they would forget it quickly. And so as we dive in, um, Lord, just, just give me um, just the words. You know, we pray, Amen. So if you guys want uh, or will, would you guys turn to James 4? And while you guys are going there, um, I'm just going to give kind of a little bit of context of James, who he is, and, and what we're about to get into. And so um, James was actually the half-brother of Jesus. And, and that's, he's got a, a, an interesting take on the situation, and nobody else was really that close um, to him. And, but what's crazy about James is that for the longest time in his life, he didn't actually believe that Jesus was the Savior. And so 
he goes his whole life thinking that Jesus is crazy and that he, he's just trying to start some cult. And, and so, but he sees something happen that changes his perspective on everything. And what he saw was that Jesus actually went up on the cross and died and was buried, but then he rose again. And so from that day, he spends his whole life just furthering the gospel and so far that he ultimately would lose his life for this word. And so if that's not a testament to the, the book that we're reading or how passionate he was, man, I, I don't know what is. And so um, if you guys are with me, um, I'm, I'm going to hop in. Uh, James chapter 4, verse 13. It says, look here. You who say today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and we'll stay there a year. We will do business there and make profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It is here a little while, then it's gone. What you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own pretentious plans and such boasting is evil. Remember, it is a sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. And so this week, um, Rance asked me to speak, and I was like, oh, for sure. Now, I probably should have looked at it before I said yes. And so I, uh, I went home, and I'm talking to my mom, and I'm like, oh, mom, I, I don't know where to go with this. What do I do? And I kid you not, she looks at me in the face, and she goes, oh, man. That's going to be tough for you. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, whoa, hang on. And she was right. And so I, I figured, man, like the first place that, that we should start is, is just establishing something that everybody can agree with. And, and so as I'm reading it, I, I noticed a, a verse, and that was in... Um, uh, 14, and it says, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? And it, it's such a simple verse, but, but really, no matter who you are or what you believe, that is, that, is a, that is something that you know to be a fact, and that is that tomorrow may not come. And, and so that may feel like a really heavy statement, and you're like, well, well then what do I do? Like, wh- how, how do I live that out? And... and so that is, like, um, when I was younger, that was something that I really struggled with. But really, that is such a sweet statement because that means that I do not have to work to make it to tomorrow. And I have hope and faith in Jesus that he and that his plan is better. And so, man, I guess, I guess where I'm going is that, like, Man, James was pretty straight to the point with, with, most, of his, um, with most of his messages, and, and he, he gives us four warnings. Um, and it, it, like if you're, if you're reading the Blue Bible, it says, literally it says, warning about self-confidence. And, and so it, if he is warning you about something, usually a warning implies that it's something pretty big, right? If somebody comes to you and says, hey, this... This is, this is bad. This is not good. This is a warning. You should stay as far away from this as you can. And that's exactly what he's doing. And so he says, man, like, if you try and plan out your life in accordance to just what you want, it's not going to happen, and, and it will ultimately fail. And so I went to the porch last night, and um, they were, oddly enough, they were in the same book. Um, but it was kind of rude because they didn't include my little passage, so I couldn't steal it all. Um, and so, <laughs> and so, um, I mean, I came to this conclusion that uh, there's a couple different reasons that we try to trust ourselves and not God. And, and the first one is, is that we don't understand who God is. And, and so what that means is whether or not we, we have looked for his character or who he is, and, and we understand the power of, of him and 
how he knows everything. And, and the second one, which uh, hit a little closer to home for me, was that we let our pride get in control of our lives. And, and we see this lens of what I want, and then we don't allow to see what God really wants for us. And, and so, man, I, I, I'm thinking, and, and we went to this conference last week, and one thing that hit me was just how much they show where they came from. And, and so, man, I was just thinking about where I came from, and so I figured, man, I would just kind of share with where Jesus has brought me. And, and so, I, I, grew up in a, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, my parents are actually here, so if you guys could uh, give it up for them. Yeah. yeah and so... <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I uh, grew up in a Christian home. I, I found the Lord at a young age, but very quickly um, I, I grew away. And so I had a, an emotional moment at camp when I was about 14 um, and, and came back into the church and started serving. But it wasn't real for me. And I was just doing all the right things, and I said all the right things. And, and I met this girl, um, and we started dating, and, and it was great. But like it says in verse 17, it is a sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. And, and so, man, I, we started dating, and the Lord made it pretty clear that she wasn't what he had for me. And in my pride, I pushed that away, and I said, no, 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 no. No, she's the one. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't recommend saying that to God. Um, and so just like this rock climbing story, man, like, I mean, I continue up this wall, and I'm like, oh, no, I got this. And so, man, I continue on, and, and I, man, I, I went for it, and, and I lost it, and I fell. But this time when I fell, it wasn't some, like, cute little, like, oh, I fell off the bouldering wall at Summit. It was like, man, it hurt. I hit the ground flat on my back, and it hurt. And so, man, I, I remember being in this place of, like, I, I, I don't know what I believe. I, I don't know where I am, and I feel so alone. Man, and so I, um, I'm not going to lie, man. Like, I, I stepped away from Jesus, and, and, I, and I stopped walking with the Lord. And, but the good thing about this is, is that he wasn't finished with me. And so once I found him again, I, I began to realize that my life is like the morning fog. And so, and I realized that if I don't live for him, then what else, what's the point? Like, why, why else would I be alive? And so, man, I, I, this, this can, I guess this has the opportunity to be a really heavy message, but there's so much encouragement in, in James and because, man, just like him, man, he, he was like, oh, man, I don't know about this Jesus guy. I doesn't really, it kind of seems kind of weird to me. It seems kind of like a cult. But man, Jesus wasn't done with him just like he wasn't done with me. And so, like, guys, if there's anything that I can, I can say, I guess it's just, um, it, if you feel like the Lord is calling you back, listen. Because you can only run for so long. And so, um, yeah, I... <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of all I have. I, I ran through that way faster than I thought I would. I'm not going to lie. Um, classic Dane, am I right? Um, so, tell it, I don't have any jokes, man. I used up all my jokes. And so, I'm going to pray real quick, and the band's going to come up. Um, and so, if you guys have any questions, if you guys are, if you guys are at that point, you're like, man, I've been running. I've been running from Jesus, and I... I don't want to anymore because I, I see that there is nothing else that, that, could, that could help me live my life in, in a way that Jesus does. And so if there's anything, okay, man, come grab one of these guys up on stage, Rance, Meredith, any of these guys in a blue shirt. Um, and so I'm going to pray real quick, and then uh, you guys gonna, are going to play another song for us. So if you guys wouldn't mind, bow your heads. Lord, thank you for um, just tonight. Lord, I thank you that uh, we... we we get another day um, and that you love us all the same no matter what we do. Um, 
And so, Lord, this, just this week, Lord, I, pr- I pray that you would show yourselves who you are to these students. And, and you would make yourselves real for the first time. Lord, there is nothing better than you. In your name we pray. Amen.